Hey guys, Dibs here, and today I've got an Overwatch gameplay video for you of Hanzo. Uh, now, as you know, during PTR, Hanzo has been receiving a lot of buffs and nerfs, so he's can be con considered the next McCree. Um, at first, when PTR came out, he got a projectile buff, like everybody else did. Uh, but then uh, now, he actually got a nerf within the past week. What the heck? This thing's been shooting me for days. <laughs> he got a nerf um, decreasing his projectile size by 33% compared to everybody else. Uh, but uh, that actually puts him still better than where he is right now in life, but not as good as everybody else's buff um, when it comes to projectiles. So he's, he's still somewhere in between, I feel like, but... Uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it goes today. Definitely still been improving with him, I feel like. And my scatter arrow on that Symmetra. So whenever you use scatter arrow, you always want to make sure that you... Um, that the scatter arrow hits... Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> Having trouble climbing walls today. And... Uh, was aiming for that trap. And got screwed by another Hanzo. But anyway, talking about uh, Hanzo's uh, scatter arrows. Whenever you shoot a scatter arrow, you always want to make sure that the scatter arrow hits at the feet of your target. Because if the scatter arrow hits the target directly, um, and it's literally just going to bounce off of them, the initial strike of the scatter arrow does zero damage, if you guys didn't know that. So it shoots out six arrows after it scatters. I'm going to use my ultimate here. Um, it does a total of 375 damage maximum. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Oh, oh, oh. Get away from this, mate. <laughs> Look at that radius. I think it's huge. So if you guys didn't know, also, uh, Mei did get a buff on her ultimate in PTR. From 8 to 10 meters for her radius. That's like 4 diameters, or I mean, 4 meters in diameter, right? That's pretty ridiculous if you think about it. I'm going to try to see if I can get my ultimate up here. Ah, looks like they used theirs. I'm going to try to see if I can get rid of the tire around here. Oh, no, I wasn't able to get it, but I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, Hanzo is starting to be seen a lot more in PTR. Um, I see him a lot actually. He's very, very strong. Um, a lot of the times he can... If you're really good with your headshots with him, he can one-shot one, -shot one uh, 150 and also 200 HP targets. Um, his arrows do up to 125 damage maximum without a headshot. God damn it. <laughs> I'm really bad at climbing walls today with Hanzo. But yeah, I mean, if you can get those headshots with Hanzo, he's very, very strong in my opinion. Um, especially with the hitbox increase. We'll be seeing him a lot more in competitive. I'm not exactly strong. Oh, another freaking ice wall? Or a, a May ultimate? Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, we're going to be seeing a lot more in, in competitive. But n I don't know if in, uh, in the pro scene. Not exactly sure how that's going to turn out. But definitely in competitive, he is used quite a bit. So, yeah. I'm gonna see what we can do. So whenever you use your sonar arrow, you always want to make sure make uh, make sure that you use it in areas where people are gonna travel a lot. It's like basically small hallways. Um, like if you're thinking about it, there's no point for you to try to use it in the open area, right? If you use it in the open area, um, first of all, here's my ultimate. First of all, there's no use because what's in it is an open area. You can have a vision over there, right? Um, you're going to see everything in the open area, so you always want to use it whenever you're kind of trying to see the opposite side of of, of a wall or um, a hallway. Hallways would be really, really good for your sonar arrow and also your scatter arrow. Um, there's really no point for you to do it in areas which uh, you have a lot of vision on. But for scatter arrow, you always want to use it on tight hallways. Like this one right here. I think I saw some... Yeah, right there. So tight hallways, basically you want to treat his scatter arrow like junk rats. Um, Junk rats, grenades. Oh, God, there's a Metro after me. Do -do -do. Use my sonar arrow. So, yeah, you, see, you can see the opposite side of the wall. So, I saw this Metro is kind of like backing up a little bit. I'm going to try to come up. And, oh, what the hell? <laughs> Symmetra is being really annoying with her, her turrets. So, yeah, sonar arrows you don't have to use um, on their side. You can use it on another, like a, on the wall that's on your side. And they can show the other side of the wall, which is very nice. It has a pretty big radius. Oh, 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 oh. Nice, got her. So, yeah, treating scatter arrow like Junkrat's grenades. Oh, I got hooked. Slept in. And I think <laughs> so the tighter the hallway, the better. Because um, if you think about it, um, if you have like a Junkrat grenade, the amount of bouncing that it does within a tight hallway um, gives you a higher chance that it will hit the target if it's in a tighter hallway. If it's in a big giant hallway, the grenades will bounce 
and have a less chance to hit the target. However, if it's a smaller hallway, um, obviously then you'll have a higher chance because there's less area that the, um, that the, the grenade has to travel. So it's the same thing as the scatter arrow. Scatter arrow bounces five times and then, uh, then basically what the hell is the icicle sticking out of nowhere. <laughs> but then the less amount of space there is for the scatter arrows to travel, the better. Oh, oh. Nice. Getting pushed up. Oh. <laughs> Right. Oh, and also, uh, it's Hanzo's scatter, not scatter, uh, Hanzo's projectile arrows. Ooh, dink. Got a increase of speed by 33%. So, his projectile speed got increased by 30%, actually. Not 33. So, basically, they travel faster, which is very nice. Make him uh, more viable at a longer distance, so their arrows are harder to dodge, which I like. I like it a lot. Feels kind of more of a sniper. And you don't have to wait, you don't have to lead your target as much. It takes a little bit to get used to, but in, uh, it gives less chance for your enemies to dodge your arrows, which is very nice. So like right there, if they're, if your enemy is right in front of you, you don't want to be using a scatter arrow right on top of the target, right? You want to be using it right at the bottom of the opponent. That's just why I didn't use it. Alright, come on, get his end down. <laughs> I was trying to predict the end, but I didn't get it. And I got hooked then. Yep. That feeling every time you get hooked by Roadhog. I think that was about all the buffs in this. Oh, no, no, no. He also got a buff. Um, you can move 10% faster when you are holding down your arrow. So basically, when you are um, basic, about to shoot your arrow or holding it down, trying to aim it like this, yeah, you move 10% faster than you normally do. Um, increases mobility just slightly, which is very nice. Makes him a better overall player, allow you to escape your, your teammates or your, your enemy. Oh, freaking hot! <laughs> Scatter arrow is really, really strong. Um, basically, you don't even have to have vision on your target, and you can just shoot it in a, in a small room, and it'll hit. It'll do a lot of damage to that target. Hanzo is pretty good. Hanzo is pretty good. We'll be seeing a lot more of him. Definitely seeing a lot more of him now. But uh, I do feel like with that increased mobility, it's very nice for you to be able to deal with tanks. Because typically, whenever you are going to try, try to get rid of this guy... Ooh, I actually got the tire in, ooh, in, instead of the, the Roadhog. I mean, I totally meant to do that, right? Ooh, dodge and hooks. So whenever you're trying to escape targets that are very dangerous to your close range, such as tanks, maze, you always want to be just uh, letting go and lobbing your... Um, or spamming your, your, uh, your arrows, right? Because then it does... 66% less damage if you don't charge your arrows, but uh, the thing is, you're able to move, right? Unlike Widowmaker who can't, um, who can't stay scoped and move really quickly, you can basically just keep spamming your arrows really, really quickly on targets that are trying to chase you down. Even though they do less damage, you are able to move and try to escape them, right? Ooh, that Zarya shield saved me. So it's very good for you to just spam, spam, spam while you're trying to run away, and it's 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 very useful in my opinion. Um, you don't want to be charging when there's a really dangerous target really close to you, right? Because you're going to end up <laughs> dying to the target that's close range. And I tried to predict that Symmetra actually going down to the health room. was not able to do so, though. She kind of like juked me out. I don't know why she didn't go for the health pack. She just like chilled out and went outside the room instead. But yeah, let's see. Got a minute and a half to push this point. Let's see what we can do. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh, and I wasn't able to get it. Mm -mm. But yeah, even against tanks, just spamming your arrows at them whenever they're close range is very, very useful. Oh, he got hooked. Oh, so as you saw, I used a scattered arrow right at fr in front of the, the Roadhog. Look at this. You can see how much damage it does. So he went from 500 to about 250 life. So every single scattered arrow hit him. All right, imagine I got damage boosted. <laughs> I could probably kill him. So there was this one clip where um, I actually got or a, or one of my tanks, Milk and Cookies, when I was playing with him and Fenner, he got one shot by Yahanza who was damage boosted. It was pretty insane. Is that a damage boosted scatter? Uh, fall back, guys! Fall back! Hanzo! <laughs> I think it's gone. I'm pretty sure it's gone. <laughs> it was funny, like right at the beginning of the battle. 
uh, he just died instantly. And I wasn't paying attention. I heard an ultimate coming from the side, but I didn't know exactly how close it was. So this is why his ultimate is actually very powerful if you use it in a hallway where people can, I can't actually escape. Using it in the long narrow ha hallway is very, very nice. Hallway, hallway. <laughs> can't talk to me. But yeah, um, ultimate, you don't want to be using it in a very wide open area, obviously. But uh, using it on the point is very, very good, or a narrow hallway. And of course, I don't think we're going to make it. It's going to off. Uh, we got three, we, we got, a, <laughs> got the tire down. We need to get three ticks on this point, but it doesn't look like I'm going to even survive this. Yeah, it looks like they're able to hold it down very, very well today. But yeah, I think that's going to be it. That's the name of the game for <laughs> this round. Looks like we were able to get top damage and elimination still. Not too bad as Hanzo. I thought that was me, actually. So the other Wolfmaster Hanzo was able to get play the game. Ah, okay, this part right here. So good ultimate by him. I wasn't actually able to notice him here at this point. <laughs> Dang, look at that. Yeah, one scatter arrow. You got took out all the life of the of Zarya. Zarya has 400 shields and life. Uh, pretty much take it down to zero, almost, if you use a scatter arrow correctly. Yeah, anyways, we're going to see what we can do on defense. He, Hanzo, can be pretty good on both attack and defense, in my opinion. Um, very, very viable. Very versatile as well. So, 20% weapon accuracy. We need to do better than that, guys. We need to do better than that. <laughs> anyway, catch you guys on defense. Alright, now we are on defense. Let's see what we can do. Um, I actually missed my sonar arrow. I hit the <laughs> hit the ledge, but whenever you want to use your sonar arrow on defense, you want to use it at one of the entrances. Typically, the main entrance, because it allows you to see who's coming through the front. And, well, you can figure out what, what, what you're going to be going against and just give a call out. And tell your, your teammates, like, oh, they have this, they have this composition, prepare for this, prepare for flankers. So whenever you can, just give a call out on on what composition you see with your sonar arrow. Obviously you're gonna have to have knowledge on what the hero looks like, on um, the background at least. It's pretty it's pretty uh pretty simple to figure it out once you start playing enough. So yeah. It's one of the best things about sonar arrow. I feel like it allows you to let's say you have double flankers, you're gonna be like, okay well if you have double flankers, it allows you to kind of strategize against that. Strategize against it or prepare for it at least. Uh, let's see what we can do. I'm trying to see if I can. I use my ultimate there, and actually, uh, oh, that Reinhardt ditched me. He went to the. Ah oh, man, yeah, that Reinhardt. <laughs> I actually should have followed the Reinhardt. Yeah, I kind of stood here a little bit too long. Not my, uh, not my best moment there. So, but yeah, I used my dragon at one point, and then the thing is, I did not get anybody, so I kind of knew that they were gonna be in that pocket on the right side kind of tells you where everybody's going to be splitting up. Nobody's going to be able to obviously sit in front of the dragon and survive it. So. Ooh, got a direct, got a direct hit on that. On that Hanzo, not bad, not bad. Okay, scatter arrow. Okay, so the scatter arrow was a little bit off. You uh, want to make sure that your scatter arrow is literally at the foot or at the feet of your target. If it's a little bit too far ahead, then it's not going to deal any damage. So, uh, also, um, if you... Stick your s Ooh. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> so he actually shot an arrow where his dragons were going. Very interesting play by him. I wouldn't have expected him to do that, actually. So. But yeah, if you actually stick your sonar arrow on somebody, um, that sonar arrow is actually going to stick on that target and move or follow wherever that target goes. So it's very good for you to stick somebody who is, um, you know, like a flanker or stick somebody who usually is around the um, the enemy team. Basically, a tank is very nice, or a flanker, because if you stick a flanker, it can you can start, you can track the the tranker wherever she goes, here she goes. Keeps track of them. Very very nice. But if the target recalls, uh, he probably had vision on me. If the target recalls or uses their phase shift ability, basically tracer reaper, they can not get rid of the sonar arrow, but then the sonar arrow will drop wherever they use their recall or phase shift ability. So they can. It really depends. Like, let's say you stick a, a tracer and then she goes around to the side and she recalls. It could be a waste, right? So it, it, it can be um, a good thing and a bad thing. But the thing is, they don't know whether they have a sonar arrow on them. They can't tell. Um, whenever you use a sonar arrow, the enemy team does not see the, the blue bubbles that are coming out of it. <laughs> they don't see that it is considered a sonar arrow. They just see that as a regular arrow, which is very nice for you. 
But uh, they can. I get. I don't know if they can guess. There would be no way for them to know. I don't think. But yeah, that's the good thing about Sonar Arrow. They don't know what it is. They can't tell if you have a vision over a certain area. And you just do it wherever you'd like. Ooh, what the heck? <laughs> I'm gonna try to get rid of this teleporter. Nice, nice. Got the teleporter down. Offensive teleporter for the win, guys. The match was very strong too. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna try to use my scatter at her foot. Nice, got her. Dink, dink. I hear another Hanzo. I'm not exactly sure where he is though. Okay, I thought he was actually chasing me, but doesn't look like it. Got somebody contesting. Got five people on point. I'm gonna just sit back here, see if I can get rid of this Hanzo from behind. Flanking Hanzo, the new meta, guys. <laughs> Still a kill and. So yeah, at that point, I think I shouldn't have tried to charge it as much. I should try to just uh, spam my arrows as much as I can. Um, you don't have to charge your arrows. You can literally just tap the left click, and then it will just start spamming your arrows. Um, and yeah, it deals a little bit less damage, but at least you can still hit your target instead of trying to just charge it and deal a lot of damage, right? Mm -mm -mm. Well, we're gonna about to we need to defend this point for only 20 more seconds. I think we got this actually though. Mm. Alright, so they're not on that side. Okay. <laughs> Always good to see a hammer flying all over the place. Alright, looks like that's about it. We gotta get rid of the Symmetra and the uh, Tracer. That's about it, I think. Yeah, damn, I need to practice my scatter arrows. I was not able to get it. A little bit too far ahead. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, oh here was that A Pursue. Actually, I didn't realize A Pursue was in here. Pretty chill, dude. Very cool guy. Anyways, yeah, victory. Good job, guys. Good game. As Hanzo on defense. Did pretty well overall, I would think. Um, but yeah. And it looks like, yep, another Mercy played the game. So Mercy has been getting a lot of um, play the game through, play the games recently. No, I'm not streaming, just recording. Because I feel like her res has a lot of um, priority. Like, you get a lot of points for resing people. Because uh, I remember... Um, recently, there was actually a game where somebody got um, like four kills or five kills for a diva ult, and just like a two-man res just you know, <laughs> overtook the play of the games. Pretty crazy. But right, anyways, that's gonna be Hanzo gameplay for you. I'm gonna be doing a, a live gameplay segment after this, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, as always, I want to say thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, let's see. Do they only let you play this map? No, we can actually play all the other maps on PTR if you want. Mm -hmm. it showed up twice in a row. Yeah, because we're playing the Brawl, so... Oh. The Brawl only lets you uh, have only this map, the new map. So we're going to be playing the Brawl, and we're going to see what we can do. <laughs> oh, I got like a shield coming out. That sucks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Da, 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 da. Gonna keep lobbing, lobbing, lobbing. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> uh, that looked really funny. <laughs> Holding down this hallway. Ooh, nice, nice. Got a scatter. The Reinhardt. So I, li I really like this place actually with Hanzo. A lot of tight hallways where you do use scatter arrow, and it's pretty decent, in my opinion. I think Junkrat would be very good here as well. Junkrat, Hanzo. Of course, the Reaper will be really good here. Ah, yeah, of course, there. <laughs> speaking of Reaper, <laughs> there he is. Come on, come on, come on, put on your shield. Oh, okay, never mind. I was like, uh, when are you gonna put on your shield, bro? He didn't, he didn't do it. Just didn't want to have to wait for too long, though. Monkey would be pretty good here, too, I would say. Diva. I'm gonna try to use my ultimate with the maze. Only got a Reinhardt. Not too bad, though. That means they don't have a shield. Oh, I got that res up going. Get it right, right at it. <laughs> nice, nice. Ooh. Gotta be careful with those grenades. Oh, come on, get, get the tire, get the tire. Junk rat. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> I was aiming at him. I think I was. I shot a little bit too hard. I should have charged a little bit less. My charge was too strong. And it went over his head. God damn it. I will not be that sucks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like they're converging on the point. Come on. Ah, damn it. Phase shift. See through the darkness of eyes. Oh. 
Go on, get the freaking Reaper guy. <laughs> he's, he's just like running around. Finally. Oh, necklace. Saw a necklace on the ground from Zenyatta. Nice ulti. Got one guy, not too bad still. Better than nobody. I got my ulti as well. Oh, let me see if I can use mine. Oh, oh wait. Oh, I actually should have gotten a little bit closer. I didn't realize how far that D.Va ult was going to go. And that sucks. Oh. Because then I think I was actually thinking about other people following the D.Va ult. Um, so I was going to try to get rid of people trying to follow from behind. I wonder if anybody's ever gotten a kill like that. Shooting random arrows into the sky. I still have yet to do that. <laughs> one of these. Ooh. Not paying attention. One of these days I will. One of these days. What a four down. It doesn't look like it's going to be very good here. Oh, oh, we got an ultimate. Oh, oh wait, no, I think that's that. Yep, that Diva ult ate it. Diva ate the uh, the ultimate. La -da 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 -la -da 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 -da. So I really like this spot up here. It's very, very nice. It allows you to snap from up top, whether you're a Widowmaker or a uh, Hanzo. Very, very nice. I like the design very, very much. It's very, very different. I keep saying very, very, but I really mean it. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have fell down. <laughs> Whoops. Not a, as a sniper, you do not want to be in front of your enemies. <laughs> Damn it, Hanzo. A lot of Hanzo, man. Hanzo meta coming. Hanzo meta coming. Not too excited about that, actually. <laughs> like I said, I don't really play too much Hanzo nowadays. He is pretty strong, though. I do like him, though. I like him where he is now compared to where he was before. At least when I use him. At least. <laughs> nice, nice. Got him. Four health left, guys. All right, I see this. Let's do this. I'm gonna stick from behind. For life. Let's see what we can do. Going balls out, man. Going balls out. Got it. We got one down. Two. Oh, man. <laughs> Two. Come on. Get the third one. I got three life. That diva really saved me. Ooh. Getting down that charged Reinhardt, and we are surviving, boys. We're surviving. Nice, nice. Holy crap, you're still alive. <laughs> yeah, I had three life left. <laughs> that diva ate up that Reinhardt's flame strike, and it saved me. Very, very nice. I have the diva to thank for that. See through the dragon's eyes. Got my ulti. Should I use it? Mm. Ooh, wow, okay. Got that guy down. Let me use it. Because I heard the May use her ultimate. I'm going to use it in conjunction with it. So a May Ice Wall or the May ultimate is very, very nice to use your ultimate with. Super nice. <laughs> Taking shots. Back up a little bit. Hello. Hi. Yeah, <laughs> I had to. <laughs> Payback, man. Payback. He killed me like three times already. Or two times, I think. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, that still got me. It was in the doorway. Okay, I didn't realize this Diva was actually going to be able to... Oh, that was perfect, perfect location for the ultimate. Just to get me, at least. Damn, that sucks. I thought that the stairway or the... Uh, I guess I should have realized that the staircase wasn't going to block it for me. Because I was a little bit too high up. Mm -hmm. Not today, Reinhardt. Not today. Ooh, we're on it. We're on it today, guys. Where's that junk rat? Still see him shooting from somewhere. Scatter. Wait, what? Oh, I guess he says there is nowhere to hide even if you use your scatter arrow? That's a little weird. I thought he would use it. Oh, that sounds like something you, you know, would say if you use sonar. Has a dog that looks like Max. Really? Yeah. Exact same breed. That's, that's very interesting. <laughs> I didn't even know Kayon had a dog. <laughs> this vital information has been kept from me, Kayon. I expected to know more from you. That's very cool though. Close friend has the same exact dot as Kaon. Good to know. Today I learned. Alright guys, we're gonna do some crazy gymnastics here. Crazy gymnastics. Woo! Alright, we got our ulti. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, okay, looks like they're all coming up at this point. No, I think we're just gonna wait for them to actually come up here. So wait for them to get out to this long hallway. Hey, <laughs> or this long walkway. And that is my ultimate. Da, 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 da. 
Oh, what? Okay, I didn't get anybody. Stupid wall climb. Okay, I got one. I got. Ooh, okay, I got the mercy. Nice, nice. I think I should have waited a little bit longer. Oh, I got a hit on. Yeah, I'm dead. I got a hit on that diva when she popped out of her mech. Not a headshot, though. That sucks. Remember those days when uh, D.Va used to be able to be one shot by Widowmaker on the body no matter what? When she popped out of her mech. That was the, those are the good old days. <laughs> Not anymore though. You got, uh, well, you can, but it's got to be a headshot. Obviously. So, looks like we're just going to take this though. GG. Pretty good game. We were able to defend it pretty well, I think. GG. So if you type in GG easy, this is what you get. Watch. GG. Wait, no. GG. Space easy. Well played, I salute you. <laughs> Ooh, we got to play the game as well. That's Hanzo. Wow, interesting. BM. That's nice. So yeah, if you type in GG Easy, it types in something random. Uh, I guess he was in the uh, people were wow. starting to type that a lot. Okay. So good. Mm, thanks, guys. Epic. Wow, thirty-one percent of the team's damage. Interesting. Pretty good as Hanzo, guys. Doing better now. But yeah, people were BMing a lot, I guess, and so they just wanted to make it a little less salty. So if you type it in, it says something nice. Hey, 38% weapon accuracy. 